Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello my dear little ones, how are you all doing? I hope everybody is doing great. So welcome to an amazing, amazing session children. But wait, did you all watch the video how to submit your work? If you have skipped watching the video, do not worry. Komal ma'am is going to play one more time just after the session. Okay, so yes, my dear children, I hope everybody is doing great and welcome to an amazing, amazing session, children. And it is all about animals. Yes, my dear children. So, dear children, you know what are we going to do? Every time we are going to welcome amazing, cute little animal. It's going to be a surprise for you. Yes, my dear children, every time we are going to welcome one animal and we are going to enjoy with them. We are going to make a cute little art piece also. But children, make sure that you preserve that art piece because in the last class, it's a surprise class. And in the last class, we are going to make something special out of it. Okay? So come on everyone, let's get energetic. Where's the energy? I can't see the smile. I can't see the energy. Where's the energy? Yay! So come on everyone, let's get energetic. So for that, I want everyone to do the action along with Komal ma'am. Okay, so come on. Shake your hands. One, two, three. Shake your hands. Come with me. Shake your hands, one, two, three, shake your hands, come with me, come on a shake, 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 come on a shake, 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 yeah, and a high five in the air. Now I think my children are super energetic and ready for the day, yes? So my dear children, today we are going to welcome a cute Little, a cute little, it's a surprise. So come on everyone, first of all get up because here comes the video for you all and the cute little animal is going to come on your screen. So make sure you dance with him. So come on everyone, get up. Here comes the music for you all. So let's get started. Pandas begin! Have you ever seen a panda dancing here? When you look at me, a panda you will see. Pandas, attention! Pandas begin! Right hand! Have you ever seen a panda dancing here? 
When you look at me, a panda you will see. Panda's attention! Panda's begin! Right hand, left hand! Have you ever seen a panda dancing here? When you look at me, a panda you will see. Got it? Very good. Then we will draw a big size picture. Okay, we are going to cover the whole page. Don't draw teeny mini drawings. This teeny mini? No, no, no. We will utilize the whole paper and we will draw a big picture. We are going to draw a big size donut and inside that we are going to draw a cute little panda. Okay, so draw a big size picture. So come on, children. In the center of this page, we are going to draw paws of a cute little panda. So just make one curve like this and join it with a bumpy, bumpy line. Got it everybody? We are just going to draw a curve and make a bumpy, bumpy line. Understood? Similarly, one more curve and we will draw bumpy, bumpy lines like this. Okay, so the paws of this panda is ready. We will just make a curve and bumpy bumpy lines to make a cute little paws of this panda. Okay, done everybody. Very good. Just make sure that you do it in the center. Okay, these are the paws and we are going to draw it in the center. Very good my dear children. Wonderful job. You all are trying your level best. Wonderful. Done everybody? Yes. Now what are we going to do? In the corner, we will make a bow first of all. Okay? Just make a bow. That is we will make a small cute little rectangle. And we will make one curve which will come down. Another curve which will go up like this. So this is a cute little bow. One more time we will do it. Make a curve which will come down. And it will go up. So just make a bow on the side. Okay? Over here on the corner. We are making the bow first children. So that we can get an idea. We can get the measurement. That how big the face will be. Okay? So two paws over here. In the corner we have drawn the bow. Now just beside the bow. We can just make a curvy curvy strokes like this. Of a cute little panda baby, we are going to draw a cute little flicks. That's the hair of a panda. Okay. So we have drawn a bow. Beside that, we have made a flicks. Got it? Very good. Wonderful. I can see you all are doing marvelous job. I am really happy and proud of you all children. Awesome, awesome. Just do it nicely everybody. Wonderful children, wonderful. You all are doing an amazing job. Super proud of you all. Well done. So the bow is ready. The flicks is ready. Now what are we going to do is we are going to make a curve face. Okay. 
so for that from here we will come down like this and from here we will come down 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 like this so the cute little face of a panda is ready understood children just make one curve come down just make another curve and come down so the cute little baby panda's face is ready right well done well done everybody you all are doing fantastic job wonderful it's looking really very cute isn't it yes it's looking lovely very good my dear children i know you all are doing your level best you all are giving your level best and i am super happy but children what ma'am has told that we are going to present neat work so don't make it messy okay right now draw it with a sketch pen i'll give you time later on to trace it with a sketch pen right now draw it with a pencil oops sorry <laughs> draw it with a pencil right now draw it with a pencil later on you can draw it with a sketch pen okay come on now just join this with a curve over here join it with the curve okay a sleeping curve we have joined it right and from here we can even just make a circle or something like this okay very good and now we are going to make a big big donut around the panda's tummy okay panda has got fixed inside that donut ring so children we are going to make a big 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 donut ring so for that from here just make a circle come 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 leave a little distance again make a circle and leave a little distance again go up and go behind so the cute little donut is ready got it children we will draw the legs of the panda that's the reason we have kept a little distance over here okay at least two to finger distance we have kept come on my dear children everybody just make sure that you all are doing amazing job okay just make sure that you draw it with the perfection the strokes and everything we have to be little careful of okay and from here let's make a wavy wavy line wavy 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 line wavy line wavy line wavy 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 line let's make a wavy line so children we have made the wavy line inside this donut right come on everybody take your time but do it nicely okay i'm going to wait for you all make sure that you do it with the perfection children draw it with the pencil done everybody very good i am really happy for you all super today panda and donut both the things are going to look really very very cute isn't it yes so we have kept a little distance over here so we are going to draw paws or legs of a panda over there okay so for that just make a curve like this okay over here also just make a curve like this and inside that we are going to make feet of this panda so you can just make one two and three circles and a pause like this over here also make a curvy curvy pause one two and three three oval shapes got it my dear children wonderful see how nice it's going to look like very good bachas very good it's looking so 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 pretty we have drawn pause over there and the feet of this panda is ready well done well done it's looking really cute isn't it it's looking cute yay very good it's looking really awesome awesome so the baby pandas the legs are ready now from here we can just make a curvy curvy line 
for the legs. Okay? Just make a curvy curvy line for the legs. Got it everybody? Wonderful job. Wonderful. Extremely beautiful job. It's looking perfect. Everything is perfect. Once the picture is done, the whole picture is done. Later on, you can trace it with the sketch pen. Okay? Not right now. Very good. Right now, you can just draw it nicely. Later on, we will trace it with the black sketch pen. Now, moving ahead, we are going to make cute little, cute little ears. So, for that, you can just make a curvy ears like this and a circle over here. Okay? Curvy, curvy ears we are going to make. Over here also, just make curvy, curvy ears and in between, just make a circle like this. Okay? So, the ears of this cute little baby panda are ready. Just make one broken line and make a stroke. Over here also, just make a broken line and just make a stroke. What is broken line? Broken line means crooked lines. Up and down, up and down lines. Okay? So, we will make that broken line and one simple stroke we are going to make. Got it everybody? Wonderful everybody. Super. I can see you all are doing amazing job. Well done. So, the cute little ears are ready. Now, inside this face, we are going to give details to the panda. We are going to make eyes, nosy, everything we are going to make. Okay? So, come on. I am just going to make a standing and a little curvy line for the eyes. Over here also a standing. And a little curvy line for the eyes of a baby panda. Got it? We can make eyelashes also. Over here also. Then we will make a cute little nosy. And a smiley. Like this. Understood? So just make eyes. A cute little nosy. And just make a smiley okay a bold smiley we can make just like this got it everybody wonderful and inside this we will make a circle another circle one more circle over here also circle one more circle and a chotu teeny mini circle so the eyes of this cute little baby panda is ready. Isn't it? Awesome, awesome. Come on everybody. Take your time. Do it nicely. I want everyone to do it with a perfection. So the cute little baby panda drawing is done. Now what we are going to do is you all can just finish it up with the drawing. Then you can just give the outline with a black sketch pen. Okay, give the outline with the black sketch pen and we are going to erase the pencil mark. Okay, so come on. Let's erase the pencil mark later on. I want everybody to just trace the whole picture with the black sketch pen and trace the pencil, rub the pencil marks. Okay, come on. Trace it with a sketch pen and erase the pencil mark. You have to erase it properly. Nicely we are going to erase it, okay? Everybody, we have to erase it nicely with an eraser. Make sure that you don't tear your page. Be very careful. Once you have given the outline, you have to trace the pencil mark. So everything is going to look really Cute. Okay. And then what are we going to do is we are just going to start coloring with beautiful, beautiful colors. But we will wait. Okay. Come on. Trace it with a sketch pen and then we can just color it. We can color the nosy 
with the black sketch pen. I'm going to wait. I'm just coloring the nosy right now. You all can take your time and you can just trace the outline. Come on, everybody. And others can just get ready with the brush pens, with the crayons, with the oil pastels. Okay? Because we are going to color it with different different materials whatever you wish you can use that i am going to use oil pastels and brush pans you can use whatever you have okay whatever you wish to use you can use that come on everybody just get ready to start coloring the picture so what i have done is i have made a cute little nosy with the black color so you can also make that nosy with the black color come on then the outer portion of this eyes, we are going to color it with a marker or with a sketch pen. Okay? Come on everybody. I hope you all have traced the whole picture with the black sketch pen. So now start coloring along with ma'am. Come on everybody. Let's do it. The outer portion, I am going to color it with black color only. That is with the black marker only. Okay, come on, make sure that you color the outer portion with black color. Yes, pandas are usually black and white in color. So we will just make the outer eye black. Come on, over here also we can just make the outer portion black. We will make sure that it is black in color. You can use sketch pen, you can use your permanent marker, whatever you have, you can use that. Come on. But make sure that everything is perfect with the finishing. No white space should be seen, okay? Very good. So the eyes are ready. Now the inside eyeballs also, we are going to fill it up with black color only okay come on fill up the eyes over here also we are going to fill up the eyes with black color only leave a little white space for the eyeballs a shining eyeballs wow it's looking really very cute isn't it yes and over here also, we can just leave a little space white and we are going to color the paws also black in color. So come on everybody, just draw a small pause and the outer portion, we are going to make it black only. Okay, like this. We will just color the outer portion black. And it's going to look really cute. Over here also we will do the same thing. We will just color the outer portion black. It will look pretty. Yes. I hope you all are doing it along with me. And make sure that you do it with the perfection. And don't leave any white space. Got it children? Yay! So that is done. Yes? And now moving further to the ears. So for ears also, we will just color the outer portion black. So over here also, we will just make black color. Okay? Just color the ears black. The outer portion, we will color the black. Okay? Like this. Just make sure that everything you do is perfect. Okay? So the cute little ears we have made black. Children, panja is usually white and black in color. So we are going to make this cute little panja black and white. But we are going to make the donut chocolatey and yummy yummy, okay? 
So come on, let's color the second ear also nicely with the black color only without leaving any white space. Understood? Over here also, come on. Let's color the outer portion also with black marker nicely. Everything you have to color it black only. Do it nicely. Very good. We are not going to leave any white space. We have to be little careful. And no white space should be seen. And it's done. The panda is going to look really very very cute. So my dear children over here. We can just make few curves like this. Okay. And over here also we can just make few small small dots just to make the panda look more cute. Wow, it's looking really very cute, isn't it? And now what are we going to do is we are going to color the legs portion also black. So come on everybody, let's color the legs also black with the marker or with the sketch pen only. Come on everybody, let's do it nicely. Yay, it's going to look really cute, right? And this pose we can make it with the pink color. So for that I am going to use pink color. So come on, you can also use pink color and make the paws look pinky pinky. Our baby panda is going to look really cute, isn't it? Yay! So just make sure that the paws are pink in color. And the baby panda is looking really cute, isn't it? Yay! Well done! So now, what are we going to do is, we are just going to add few dots over here. Like this. We can just add few dots over here. For baby panda. And now, we are going to make cute little bow of this baby panda okay so for that i am going to color the bow with pink and skinny color okay we can just add pink color and little bit of skin color to make it look more pretty the center portion i am going to keep it pink Children, it is your idea, it is your work. So you can just make this bow look beautiful. Got it? It is up to you. However you want, you can decorate it. You can add glitter, you can add some other color also. Anything, whatever you wish, you can add. Inside this ears also, I am just going to add baby pink color okay so you can also add a little bit of baby pink color inside this ears got it wow this baby panda is looking really really cute isn't it children i can see you all are doing an amazing job super proud of you all children well done so once this is done what are we going to do is, we are going to make donut. So for donut, over here, the lower portion, I am going to color it with skin color. You can choose your favorite color, but I am going to choose skin color. Because the donut, the lower portion is like a bun, right? So this bun, I am going to make it of a skinny color. Yay! It's going to look really yummy, yummy. Very good.
It's looking really pretty, isn't it? And a cute too. It's looking so cute. Isn't it children? Yes. And the topmost portion, the above portion, we are going to make chocolatey chocolatey. Okay. And that is going to be with yummy yummy brown color. So let's do the brown color on the edges like this over here also okay on the edges we are going to do that is on the corners understood just on the corners you have to add a little darker shade then you can smudge it with little brown color smudge it with the brown color and you can just add yellow ochre color at the end. Okay. Just add yellow ochre color at the end like this. Got it? So children, if you don't have different shades of brown, it's okay. You can pick up a single brown color also. And if you want to make a mango flavor donut, you can make that also. So come on now. We have to smudge it. Smudge it, smudge it, smudge it. Yay! So we can just smudge this cute little donut to make it look chocolatey, chocolatey. So children, we have to just smudge it, okay? And look at the beautiful texture. It's looking really very cute, isn't it? Yay! Well done! So my dear children, look at this beautiful, beautiful donut. It's getting ready. But now what I'm going to do is I am just going to apply little stipplings of brownish color. We can just apply a little bit of brown color and try to smudge it. Because this bun, the donut is baked and it should get the effect of little brown color also. Right? So this yummy yummy donut is ready and this baby panda got stuck inside this donut. Right? So children, I hope you all are doing it along with me. Fantastic! Wonderful! We are going to still decorate this donut. So, I want you all to just take tidbits. That means you can just take small, small pieces, any pieces. And we are just going to cut it in a small, small strips. Okay? Because we are going to make sprinklers. Okay? Pink color, green color, any color. We can see that donuts have yummy yummy sprinklers in them. So similarly, we are going to add yummy yummy sprinklers. Okay, that is we are going to add yummy yummy decoration on this donut. So just add pink color. Then you will require green color also. You can add sprinklers of your favorite color. Okay children? Pink, green, yellow, any color. So add this yummy yummy green color also. It is sprinkler only. And we will just paste them over here on the donut. Got it everybody? We are going to paste it. So for that I am just going to apply small small dots like this. And we are going to paste this sprinklers. Okay? Come on. They are really very small. So we have to just paste them nicely. We can just add sprinklers wherever we have pasted favicol. We will just add few sprinklers. Okay? Like this. Like this. We will just paste it. Paste the sprinklers. Okay? Everywhere we have to paste it. 
and yummy yummy sprinklers are ready if you want to make few more circles as if some chocolates are there you can randomly cut circles big size circle small size circle you can paste that also okay yes like this few dots if you want you can paste it because there are few decoration material on donut right so we can just paste yummy yummy circles and everything and our yummy yummy donut is getting ready we can even make yummy yummy strokes like this okay few dots to give the effect of yummy yummy sprinklers just make sure that you don't spoil the white color of this panda and a cute little donuts are ready and a cute little baby panda is also ready isn't it children very good it's looking so cute right i can still add few sprinklers over here and our cute cute baby panda is getting ready but we can even give other effect like we can just make few dots over here in the black portion okay children so if you have you can just take white pen and you can just give dots like this okay just give dots like this everywhere we have to just draw dots like this understood and our cute little baby panda is going to get ready over here also we can just have few dots and baby panda is ready yay and look at the hands also on hands also we can just have cute little dots okay like this and baby panda is ready so this baby panda they went inside the donut because she was really very fond of this donut and what happened she got fixed inside that donut isn't it yes so this is how the baby panda is going to look like but my dear children we are still going to do the background so for background i am just using sea green color and i am going to color the lower portion like this in the background you can create whatever you wish okay i am just going to fill the sea green color over here in the background nicely okay just make sure that you color sea green like this on the lower portion got it it's looking yeah amazing yay so this is the sea green portion we have created on the lower end right and now for the other background for the remaining portion we are just going to take light yellow color and we are just going to color it okay like this color it in the background nicely okay make sure everything is perfect i want you all to do the beautiful background so i have chicken light yellow color and i am going to smudge it smudge it smudge it smudge it nicely okay you have to smudge it nicely everywhere you have to smudge it yes 
and make the background look beautiful. It's up to you. Whatever you want to choose in the background, you can choose that. Okay? But make the background look beautiful. Yes. Look at the beautiful baby panda inside the donut which we have created. Right? Now, what we can do is we can even just have few red color spots like this. And we can just decorate the background. Okay? It's up to us. Like this. Whatever you want, you can do it in the background. Just do the stipplings and the beautiful, beautiful baby panda is ready. Wow! So children, this is what we have created today. Oh wow! Everybody did an amazing job. This panda is looking so cute, isn't it? So my dear children, now what are you going to do? You all are going to click good, good pictures with this cute little panda, okay? I want everyone to hold their cute little panda in their hand, click good, good pictures and please submit your work on the portal. How to submit it? For that, I'll show you one video just after the session. But my dear children, come here. Komal ma'am is going to tell you something. Children, in the last session, you have to come with this paper, okay? So please make sure that you just preserve this paper, this art piece, because it's a surprise session. And in the class, we are going to make something out of this sheet, okay? So today we made this cute little panda. So make sure you click good good pictures with this panda. Submit your work on the portal. And also preserve this sheet. Because in the last class we will require this panda. Okay. So it's time to say bye bye to Komal ma'am. Hope you all have enjoyed this class. And see you all soon in the next class. Children. In the next class, there is some exciting animal coming, okay? So, please stay tuned and do join me for fun fill art session. Bye-bye. Bye for now. And yes, please have a look at the video that how to submit your work. Here comes a video for you all. And remember, Komal Ma'am loves you a lot. Bye everyone. Here comes a video for you all. Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun fill learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the submit your work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you have last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. 
Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode.